and gentlemen, we have come to that hour of the night where there's only one move left to do. Believe it or not, your next comedian, a fun fact about him, I don't know if I've even mentioned this on the show before, but he once signed up for every week for nine months in a row before getting pulled out of the bucket for his very first time. Since then, he is the only living member of the Kill Tony Hall of Fame, the man who holds the record for most appearances all time on this show. Most sets, most minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Memphis Strangler, the Vanilla Gorilla, the St. Louis Assassin, the Sarsaparilla Thrilla in Manila, the Tijuana Tarantula, the Big Red Machine, the one, the only, the great, the powerful, William, 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 William Montgomery, everybody. So in the past month, I've discovered that Barack Obama is bisexual and the Russian opposition leader may still be alive. And I only got one question. You mean to tell me Captain D's and Long John Silver's still ain't settled this shit, man? <laughs> Fish fry nuggets raise up! Who you with? Popeye's Army 504, you heard me? Who do who do Three buddies went to check into a La Quinta Inn in Nashville this past week and ended up managing the hotel for hours after they discovered no one was working there. I actually have a confession. I was actually selling the employee Xanax bars out of room 217 and they all blacked out. I ain't ever gonna stop selling Xanax bars out of room 217. First off, uh, Red Band, happy Yom Kippur. Um, I'd ask if you fasted today, but I think we all already know the answer to that. Holy shit. <laughs> so I just finished another installment of Where's Waldo, and I'm starting to think he doesn't exist. <laughs> I saw a headline earlier today that said, Earthquake rocks Morocco back to the Stone Age, and I couldn't help but wonder, so the earthquake caused no damage in Morocco? <laughs> That place be staying in the Stone Age! Who do you? Who do you? A lady is suing Disney World after water was forced inside her vagina on a water slide. The good news is she stands to make a lot of money. The bad news is it was Red Band's mom. <laughs> Red Band, what was her old ass doing at Typhoon Lagoon, dude? <laughs> When it comes to Israel and Hamas, I just hope both sides have fun. <laughs> I actually have some very exciting news. I've started a church. The good news is gay people are allowed. The bad news, they got to tie 25%. <laughs> also, I just watched uh, Snakes on a Plane, so I'd like to say... Enough is enough. I've had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. <laughs> What's the difference between John Fetterman and Red Band? John Fetterman actually has an excuse. <laughs> he had a stroke, Red Band. That's what that was. I recently tried menthol condoms, and I've got to tell y'all, they don't taste like you'd expect, but the fiberglass does tickle my pussy. Okay, that's my time. Thank you. Wow. Okay, that's my time. Thank you. Okay, that's my time. Thank you. Okay. That's my time. All right, William Montgomery, everybody. I do believe he's added a new Hootie Who uh, trademark to the... Hootie Who! I've been oh. listening to that song a bunch this past weekend. It's by True, an artist named True. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a group. True is a super group that was within the No Limit Soldiers in the early 2000s. I know all about this because I listened to them a lot. I found it unbelievable that you are debuting a new Who Do You Who reference 23 years after the song was a hit, and it was only a hit to specifically to people very deep in the hip-hop uh, listening community. But here you are in Austin, Texas. They don't know what it means or represents. 
But Hootie Who is the call for the killers, for those of you that don't know. That's correct, Tony. Thank you, John Dees. Absolutely. Blam, 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 blam. Red Band quits doing sound effects during the William part for some reason because he can be lazier than he already is. <laughs> in a stunning turn of events. When, when the easiest job in the world it can't I be have any learned easier. If you don't interrupt William unless he's going to start making oh, fun of me or like. <laughs> it's, un it's unbelievable. No shit. I wasn't even going to say shit to your stupid ass tonight, you fucking idiot. You woke the beast, baby. <sighs> yeah, don't fucking get me pissed. Talk tonight, Red Oh, <laughs> oh he. Hootie Who! Hootie Who! Hootie Who! Hootie Who! I found out that the little dog that I got is, in fact, not a long-haired chihuahua, but, in fact, a Rottweiler. I had sort of joked. I joked around Tony that she was a Rottweiler just fucking Look around, obviously. Look at this fucking thing. <laughs> what kind of dog is Is that a gerbil? It's a... No, it's a Rottweiler. She's going to get a lot bigger. <laughs> that is uh, not a goddamn Rottweiler. <laughs> this is a Rottweiler, I think. Yeah, this is a Rottweiler. <laughs> When we got the DNA results back, we got a 23andMe on her, and she is 100% a Rottweiler. So I have been living pretty much, at least in my mind, on the streets of New Orleans, yeah, circa early 2000s. This is just how I fucking live. I literally, I've always joked about having a couple pistols in my car. I literally have two Smith & Wessons in my car right now. So that's why I was hoping Red Band wouldn't fuck up. Before I kind of laid this out on y'all, yeah, I mean, there are these people after me, so I do have two pistols. Oh, that was a funny one. What was that? <laughs> what was that? That was a really funny one. I was William, thinking you were going to do some fun on that one, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> now, William, you were telling me you owe someone $3,500? <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't want to talk about... I, I'm not talking about okay. that right tell now. Tell that tale. <laughs> tell that tale. <laughs> tell that tale. <laughs> tell that tale. Oh, we got it. Yeah, Sam wasn't lying, but it's just a weird situation. <laughs> it's, tell the people. It's not like I've done, I've done nothing you wrong. You did nothing wrong. I no, did no, nothing no. wrong. No, you're just a, a gullible oaf. I know what you're talking about. It's that story, yes. Yeah. Uh, it's actually yeah. hilarious, I it's, think. I don't know. He's, All right, that's... maybe we shouldn't. Should we do a movie trailer for it? Yes. Yeah. 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 But I don't know what happened. In a world where a podcast <laughs> advertiser... Hang, hang tight, Sam. We'll get some music going. Okay. So what happened, Tony? Okay, so uh, William has a podcast, but he mostly focuses on his cameos. He makes vast sums of money through cameo, but he also has a podcast, but he has too many people on it, and they're all talking over each other at the oh, same okay. time. So it doesn't have that many listeners, <laughs> even though it should. It should be mostly him, the star, being featured in it. But anyway, his viewership is so low that uh, his ads that he's supposed to do, he actually owes money. Yeah, not only am I not owed any money, I owe the person 3,500 fucking dollars. How is that possible? It's literally unheard of in the podcast world. <laughs> Here is the movie trailer. This is Dr. Phil. In a world where one man had a podcast. The William Montgomery Show. The enthusiasm was low, but the ad sales were lower. I owe money. <laughs> they owed a fuck ton of cash. $3,500. 3500 to be exact. He's the only man in Austin, Texas to not realize his full potential with the people on his podcast willingly holding him back. I mean, I can explain that one. I mean... <laughs> We're good. We'll figure it out in the movie. Okay. He had to do anything for cash and was willing to do whatever it takes. Just take your penis out of your shorts, man. His app his app <laughs> He knew that this was a summer of change. The summer everything had to turn in his favor. William Montgomery had one hootie who left. He stars in this summer's feature film, Gullible Oaf. With Cam Patterson as the guy with rocks and bullets. Uh, Brian Redman is a guy who does his penis out at the H-E-B. <laughs> and, 
This summer, Gullible Old in select theaters only, only at the Mothership. Fuck yes. No, Red Band, I know today is like your Christmas. It's National Cheeseburger Day. So. Oh, wow. Look at that. Unbelievable. <laughs> Eat it, bitch! <laughs> Not a damn chance. Wow, Red Band using an inside, inside reference. <laughs> Shout out to Not a Damn Chance Burgers, one of our local favorites here in Austin. Well, I also remember you from the movie Scary Movies with the little hands. The nigga with the little hands. Because of my little hands. <laughs> Is there anything you want to say to Jamar after what he just said to you, William? No, nah, I have to hold my tongue right now. I mean, I have to. Hold no, my man, because I got another one lined up, so it may be a good re uh, response to yours. <laughs> Jamar, uh... <laughs> <laughs> roast god William Montgomery yeah. loading up right now. Famous for his incredible roast skills. Oh shit, there's the corpse of John Benet Ramsey taking a pee break right oh, now. Shit. Put a bra on, bitch. Yeah. Holy shit, I saw your titty. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Yikes. Indeed. Wearing Keep an your a bitch in check, dude. What the <laughs> fuck? Tell her has to put a bra on, dude. What the fuck? That is true. And you should probably put one on as well, sir. Uh, Incredible. William, what else is going on this week? Tell us about your actual life. Oh, man, what? Why are you already fucking laughing, you fucking idiot? Oh, I haven't shit. even He's said mad anything. At who appears to be white Spike Lee uh, sitting in the front row here. <laughs> finally going to Schlitterbahn. Uh, 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 but, <laughs> but you're cancer. Like, like, aren't you not supposed to be in the sun? Red Band that, bringing or? up skin yeah, cancer. Up here we skin go. Cancer. I have to go back to the dermatologist. I think I have fucking skin cancer now, right by my nose. Uh, why are you laughing, you fucking idiot? I'm not even kidding. <laughs> so I hope I look really cool with a big scar on my face, because I'm about to have a big scar when they have to remove it. So I've been dealing with that, Tony. I mean, I'm trying to have fun. I'm trying to have a really good time at Schlitterbahn at the end of the week. But all I can think Kim about... Kim Congdon. I think you have comedy cancer. Whoa. Wait, wow. that's a good thing, Kim right? taking a care. shot at one of the most beloved characters in the history of the show. Uh, this is incredible. This is the moment we've all been waiting I'm for. Scared. William eyeballing her, looking her up and down. Anything can happen right now. I think you got cancer in your butt, bitch. Oh! What do you mean I can't roast people, Tony? <laughs> And Jamar, I think you have cancer all over your skin, dude. What's Whoa. going on? <laughs> William Whoa. Montgomery beard is red because uh, he combed it with the comb he killed a prostitute with. Okay. <laughs> William, any last words? Anything that you're passionate about, perhaps? Anything you want to yell about? But yeah, I mean, I've been uh, still listening to a bunch of True, the uh, rap artist I've been listening to the past month a lot, so I just kind of want to end this with a, a hootie hoo! Hootie hoo! I have a sweet little dog. It's been uh, four months. It's been four months. I got a sweet little dog yesterday, yesterday, I got to start singing, bitch! You throw me off all night, you fucking weirdo looking piece of shit. I got a sweet little dog, what's the reverb? Day, yesterday. I got a sweet little dog yesterday. Yesterday. All right. Okay, thank you! William Montgomery, everybody. William Montgomery. Wow. Look at this iconic moment. How did you know he was wearing green shorts, by the way? Look at this. Sean, so nice. To this see is you. incredible. So nice. To yeah. 
Yes, yeah, Sean, I did this because I know you're getting very famous now. I was wondering if you needed a body double. I mean, that's why I came out here like this. Seriously, if you need a body I double. Never stop! Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, thank oh, you so much. Oh, shit. Here we go. I'm tired of these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking planet. Wow. This is... Quit absolute. looking at my dick, bitch! It is... It is very aggressive. I mean, there is a lot going on. We have so much to talk about right now. I, and if y'all were wondering, it is actually very cold backstage, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Holy shit. And I think we finally found out why he doesn't wipe his ass. It turns out he doesn't have one. It is incredible. <laughs> William, turn around, show these people your... <laughs> Is wow. If y'all don't think I've been practicing my twerking, you'd be wrong. I mean, check this out. Uh, oh my God. That is just loose underwear bouncing for those of you thinking you're seeing twerking right now. He is shaking the loose underwear where his ass should be. I don't know what I'm doing. This now. place Stop. is fucking wild right now. <laughs> it's like a coconut shrimp or something. What is that? Oh, right. Coconut trap or something. Holy shit! <laughs> <sighs> fucking bitch! <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is that? You have his mouth watering at the thought of a coconut shrimp right now. <laughs> William Montgomery showing off today a perfect body next to Sugar Sean. You guys look like a before and after for exercise. <laughs> this is absolutely incredible. You look like never been to the gym, the Anvil Nightheart. What? <laughs> I, I almost did a spit take. That was very, very good. Tony liked the, it. Those of you that know Jim the Anvil Nightheart will laugh very hard at that. Uh, it, it's I a, guess nobody knows who he is. He was a wrestler 48 years ago. Yep. He had a beard. Wore sunglasses, giant red beard. Yeah. Not quite as misshapen as you. Yeah. This cool. is, is incredible, now, William. For the folks at home, though, your body is not that bad. We're making jokes. That's a pretty, that's, you know, it's not horrible. Especially those knees. Look at those knees. Yeah. Red Band taking shots. Yeah, Red Band. Well, his mom also kind of likes my body because I was in Ohio last week. Yeah. Beating that shit up! But yeah, I don't know if y'all have seen snakes on a plane. I saw it for the first time this past weekend. That's crazy. They let loose a bunch of snakes on a motherfucker plane. An absolute monster. He did it again. Another new minute. Repping Sugar Sean O'Malley. Make some noise to the great and powerful William Montgomery, everybody. Tony, this is a true story. I have found these people. They just moved into the apartment complex where I live. Uh -huh. And I'm pretty sure they're drug dealers. I have been looking out of my window literally eight hours at a time during the day. And I confronted one of the girls the other morning. She had these horrible sores all over her legs. And I go up and I'm like, oh, what, did you just move here? What's going on? And she said, yeah, my, my ex-boyfriend is really abusive. And I was like, oh, are you sure you fucking live here? And she said, you need to leave. Why are you acting so animated talking to me? So it kind of pissed me off that a literal crazy person called my fucking ass out for being crazy. I'm not fucking <laughs> crazy. It took a hit to my confidence when that happened. But wow. other than that, I've been doing all right. William is uh, the type of neighbor that does indeed look out of his window yes. a lot. He's a kind of like a 75-year-old man trapped in the body of whatever the fuck that is. 
He writes uh, letters to the manager about his neighbors. And he did. That is an actual... That is an actual... Yeah, been he, William has been... A lot of what you hear, believe it or not, is real with William <laughs> Montgomery. Uh, including the part about Red Band's mom. Um, Lord, I finally have some shows, Tony, where I'm, do, I'm doing some rare headlining sets. I Whoa, hope this headlining. Can you give set. them a little taste of, like, can you do one joke that you do in your 20-minute set? Hell no! I get all that damn bone. <laughs> That's a book I'm working on about the only black lady on the Titanic. Uh, <laughs> see? Yeah. That was good. That shit crushes in theaters. Tony, I'm really excited, actually, about the fucking bidet up in the green room bathroom right oh, now. Oh, shit. There is a new bidet. There's a new bidet up there, and I feel sorry for the motherfucker that has to clean it because I piss all over it. And I'm, and I'm not going to stop pissing all over the fucking bidet. So I, I don't know who has to clean that shit up every night, but I'm going to be peeing on it every fucking night. You're going to pee on the bidet? Yes, just on the seat and the bidet, just all parts of it. It's kind of, I don't know if you've noticed, it's coming out a long ways. It seems like a weird construction on that thing. What is a bidet? A bidet is... Uh, <laughs> that, that, that's, that's the booty hole cleaner when they shoot the water in your booty hole. That is exactly how a, oh, a yeah, doctor... Oh, you're pissing on that shit, nigga, because that shit gay. <laughs> I love gay people. Cam Patterson, charming as hell. You should do a show called Cam and the Gays. Oh, shit. That'd be hard, hell yeah. Oh, shit. I know. What was that? What was that? What was that supposed to be? The beginning of the Cam and the Gays theme song. Exactly. Oh. Here we go. Here's the, here it is. The theme song to Cam and the Gays. Cam and the Gays. And then... <laughs> <laughs> And then it's just Red Band on the show. <laughs> <laughs> William, we love you. You did it again, William Montgomery, everybody. See, I came into existence before the earth and stars, and I will be here on the day they fall because I am ageless. But yet old enough to fuck your mother. <laughs> You're you. really 21? Yes, sir. How long I am. have you been doing stand up comedy? Two years. Do, do me older men pick up on you? Yeah, yeah. surprisingly. Not, like, not, not surprisingly. Not surprisingly, <laughs> not surprisingly yeah. at all, unfortunately. Yeah, <laughs> OnlyFans, if this doesn't work out, that's an option. Do you know? older dudes are coming at you? Yeah. Like, yeah. what do they say to you? Um, just just creepy stuff. Not much. And then when you I'm, say I'm 21, they're like, oh, I'm out of yeah, here. Yeah, they're out yeah, of yeah, it. They yeah, they don't want that. Yeah, they don't want that. Yeah, it. there goes that boner. Shit, last night in the hotel room with him, I, I was with him, he told me he was 14. So that kind of... <laughs> I feel a little ripped off about that. Uh, yeah, he said he was fucking 14. I believed it. He looks 14. Okay. William Montgomery. It's so nice to be here. I had my first headlining week and this past weekend in Vegas. It was wonderful. Did 50 fucking minutes. Which 50 I minutes. Think, I didn't think I could do that. And if y'all could tell my voice, I wish I could yell tonight, but I'm probably not because I didn't even have my voice at all yesterday. So I'm going to have to figure that one out, Tony. I think doing three hours worth of comedy is not going to work with my voice. So I might, I don't know what I'm even I'm going to fucking do. And then it gets stronger. We'll see. And then, Tony, I swear to God, I want to read a text message. So on Saturday night, the second, the, the next two shows, literally at 8, when I'm walking into the club, I receive this text message from my father, Larry. It says, let's, let's tell William tomorrow so he won't worry about it during his shows. I swear to God. And then I immediately text him, what? And then he calls me, my grandfather died, Rusty Vance. So rest in peace, Rusty Vance. Rest in peace, Rusty. But it was a nightmare. 
see, I want to yell so much right now, you fucking pussy. But I literally, it would hurt so bad. Why would you do that? It's Rusty Vance. Did he, did he, he die from AIDS? Did he die from AIDS? <laughs> I mean, God, you sound crazier and crazier by the fucking week, dude. Did he die of AIDS? God, your voice. Ah. Why did you just say, wow, I'm fucking clap, you fucking, you look like a slut, bitch. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, what? hey, hey, she's got a date with a 15-year-old later, okay? With that 14-year-old. Yeah. We yeah. hope she's a slut. Yeah. Yeah. We hope. We're going to get a follow-up to that date, and you'll be a legend. If you, if you fuck him, I will tell you this. If you fuck him, then I'm serious. You have a ticket to kill Tony for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a she genius. Said, Let's go. If you don't, no she will. So, if, yeah. you know. And I want to be there. I want to be allowed to watch. I yeah. have that has to be a part of the contract. I have to watch him fuck yo fucking nasty looking ass bitch. Oh my Jesus. goodness, William, you're Jesus. being. Very I'm sorry, Red fair. Band pissed me off earlier. It's my fucking dead grandfather. And let me try out some of the crowd work I did with using that information. Uh, yeah, Rusty Vance, my grandfather died. Can anybody guess how old he was when? Can anybody guess how old Rusty was? If somebody... If somebody guesses that we could say when I hear the right... Shit, I don't know how old his old ass was. <laughs> So that's that guy. That was about ten minutes worth of crowd work yeah. doing that. <laughs> that's how you did fifty did minutes. Center, yes, yes, I did fifteen to twenty of that, just standing, staring forward, hearing all these numbers. That is so funny. <laughs> but can you explain to the people why you have a little bit of trouble? I know it's a serious. Subject. I don't know. I mean, I get so when I'm opening up for you, Tony. I get so in my head. You put so much pressure on me. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna fucking explode most of the time. So I'm like, okay, I have to keep on doing these <laughs> jokes. Tony, I did say one joke that you told me not to say before, but I had to in Vegas. What was what, the one? Uh, Chris Angel's greatest trick is how he made himself disappear. <laughs> yeah, it's so stupid. And I That's did a couple Rick Moranis jokes, but no, I was interjecting a lot more. Tony hates the Rick Moranis jokes. Yeah. I think they're wonderful. Yeah. Oh, you mean, the, you mean the guy that's been a recluse for 25 years? You think that... <laughs> Dude, I don't know what it is. There's like, and I've, I've seen you for years now, man, there's just like a darkness that around you that like, it makes me truly uncomfortable. Like, I feel like you have... Well, at least there's something around my fucking ass. I don't you even have... know what to think when I look at Dude, your fucking ass. You have... Don't come at me. <laughs> you have... I, 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 I didn't say shit for five fucking years, dumbass. I, I said I wasn't going to fucking stream. Don't come at me like that. You got yeah, nothing I want around you to your scream. stupid fucking ass. I want you to say, you have, like, look at me energy. You have a screaming look Ooh, at thanks. me. thanks. Yeah, it's a terrifying... Cool, I take that as a compliment, dumbass. Dude. What the fuck? When it eventually Don't come comes at me out, like that, you fucking idiot. When it eventually comes out that this guy has murdered a lot of people, a lot of we people. are all We're culpable. all not going to be surprised. <laughs> not surprised. Dude, shut culpable. the fuck up, <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> I promised I wouldn't fucking yell tonight, but I can't help it when I look in your stupid fucking eyes, dude. My eyes? I have a dark energy on my fucking ass. You got nothing. This is dark. Ass. This is very dark. This and is I very swear dark. I'm all alive. This is dark. <laughs> this is dark. <laughs> this is dark. <laughs> Don't come at me, motherfucker. What do you mean I got a dark energy? My fucking grandfather died a couple days ago, dumbass. <laughs> Uh, and I've been playing with the Ouija board, so maybe that's why my energy starts. There you go. I've like four spirits in my apartment, so sorry for yeah. you, coming you, after your ass. I get nervous. I haven't slept in three fucking you days. You hugged me before this. Huh? You hugged me before this. Yeah, I put a curse on your Toma. <laughs> You can't hug somebody who's you performing me. in the dark you arts. You hugged me. Yeah, well, good luck trying to pee later. <laughs> I don't understand you, man. <laughs> well, I don't understand you either, so we're in the same boat, then. <laughs> Should we hug? Yeah, do you want to hug? Wow, this is a very special moment, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my 
my goodness. Now, if Israel and Palestine could just do that. Yeah. <laughs> Paraglide. No. That's the reason his grandfather died. Wait, what? Jesus Red Christ. Man. Did you hear that, William? What did he say? He, he said, said, you're going to be on the secret show. <laughs> <laughs> The ceiling's too high. Everyone doesn't do well there. It's not built for comedy. So what did you say, Red Man? It's a reason, Red Man. AIDS. See, it doesn't work out how you think it's going to work out sometimes, doesn't it? You were thinking people are going to laugh at AIDS. Nobody fucking laughed, dumbass. My fucking grandfather died. Why do you fucking... Oh, I'm sorry about your grandfather, honestly. Thank you. Like, with, like, the medicine recently in the AIDS community that would help, have helped him. And he, uh... So doubling down on the AIDS shit, you dumbass. <laughs> bah. Bah. You know what? Secret Show Thursday? <laughs> I think Red Band was doing those jokes so that he could have a moment of silence for your grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> William, you know, I mean, it, it's fucking crazy, but, uh, but I'll say it. Uh, a lot of these times, and I mentioned this to Red Band after uh, Heath Cordes' performance, I go... It's so weird how so often, I mean, statistically, because I remember specifically, um, oh, God, who the fuck was it? It was, um, oh, Aaron Belial. We kept pulling out of the bucket all night long, and then the final bucket pull, I go, the final bucket pull of the night, we have enough time for one more. It was him. And all these times, you have to go up after fucking Yeah, I'm chaos. horrified. It's I was so, horrified back there. so interesting. And meanwhile, you blast through, you make it look easy, and you've done it more than anybody, and you fucking did it again tonight, fresh off of the Thank death you. of your grandfather. Let's see how loud this place can get for literally the goat of the show, William Montgomery.